Hello, second graders at Longfellow Elementary. I am here today to video a geo board for you so that we can talk about different kinds of quadrilaterals. Um, I have already put some rubber bands onto this board and I'm gonna stretch them together to make some shapes that you'll recognize and we'll talk about what they all have in common before you go down below and complete your activity. Um, this right here, we'll start in this corner, these four little red rubber bands all together. Um, as item that has four vertices and has four right angles. And all four are the sides are the same length. This is what we know as a square. A square is a quadrilateral. Four vertices, four right angles, and that just means that right here, this is a perfect 90 degree angle. And all the links have to be the same side. The cousin here to the square that we, is a shape we all recognize and know, and come up to the top here, um, also has four sides. Um, but it's unique because these two sides are the same length and they're parallel. This green band right here shows the other two sides that are the same length and that are parallel. So when we draw the bands all together, we end up with two sets of sides that are parallel and the parallel sides are the same length. We also have four right corners, just like we do on a square, four vertices. That shape we know as a rectangle. This shape right here that has the blue and yellow bands is kind of like this rectangle, but it's the shape we get if we push a rectangle over just a little bit. We still have two sets of parallel sides. So these yellow bands are parallel. They're the same distance apart. There's two squares here, two squares here, two squares here, two squares here. And these blue bands that make up the other two sides are also parallel. They are one, two, three, four squares apart there, four squares apart here, and four squares apart here. So it has no right angles, but it has two sets of parallel sides four vertices and four sides. We call that one a parallelogram. The last quadrilateral that we're gonna look at today is this shape down here. It has one set of parallel sides. That's the top and the bottom. You can turn it on its side and it would um, still be a parallelogram. The direction it goes are kind of irrelevant. And then on the ends, it has two more sides, but these ones aren't necessarily parallel. So these two are the same distance apart, two and two and two, but these two aren't parallel. If we were to take these rubber bands and just keep on stretching them, you would see that they get to this point where they would cross right here. So Parallel lines would never cross if we stretch them out. This shape is called a trapezoid. It has four corners or vertices. It has four sides. It has four angles. Um, it's still a trapezoid even if I move it like this. That's still considered a trapezoid. It just has a right angle for two of its angles. Um, and then we also have just random shapes that are going to be quadrilaterals that don't fall into one of these categories of four shapes. So what it requires, four sides, four angles, and four vertices to be a quadrilateral.